This is another vi video I'm making on Windows updates uh, not working. Uh, this is a repair for um, deleting the cache files. So uh, a lot of people find that if you delete your cache files uh, and and stored content for Windows updates, that uh, fixes the issue. Uh, so here we go. This is how to delete your cache files for your Windows updates to repair that um, Windows update not working problem. So I'll go to Windows button and go to computer, right click my computer or right click computer, click manage. This is in Windows 7 by the way. And then you get the computer management screen here. You're going to go to services and applications and then click on services. And the first, basically you need to shut down a couple of, of uh, uh, services. I'm going to expand this over a bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, if you look, you'll see that you have background intelligent transfer services or service. Some computers won't have this. They'll have uh, BITS instead, B-I-T-S. Uh, it depends on how your computer was set up or what version of uh, Windows 7 you got. Uh, but some have background intelligent transfer services and some have just BITS, B-I-T-S, in capital letters. So I'm just going to right click that and click stop. Now the reason we're stopping these services is because they lock files and uh, these lock files are the files that, that you're going to uh, delete here in a minute. And go down to the very bottom you'll find Windows Update. Right click that and choose stop as well. And it, both services are now stopped. We'll go get out of the, well actually we'll just minute services here. Go back to the Windows button and back to computer. Then you're going to go to your C drive or your system drive. There might be, it may, you know, might be a different drive. Well, usually your system drive is your C drive. Scroll down to Windows and then scroll through this list down to software distribution. And that's all alphabetical. So at least mine is anyway. So there you see software distribution. You want to open that up. Then you want to highlight everything. So you can, you know, several ways to do that. You can draw a box around all of it. Or you can say Control A, which highlights all of it as well. Then you're going to hit Delete. Now, you can, you can either just hit Delete button or right click it and choose Delete. All right, it's up to you. I'm just going to right click it and choose delete. And it goes into a recycle bin. Now, what that does is it resets the cache for Windows updates. Sometimes, you know, those that information will get uh, corrupted somehow. Some file will have gotten itself in there and it, it just, you know, will not allow Windows update to work anymore. This will empty that. Uh, all these files will be put back in again when the uh, Windows update is run again. So, you know, if you notice, well, I'll show you that anyway. So, okay, so let's just close that window there. All right. So there, you're, you've gone to uh, C Windows Software Distribution and deleted everything in inside the folder called Software Distribution. Okay, make sure you're inside the folder called Software Distribution. Uh, you don't want to delete the wrong thing. After you've done that, um, I would suggest that you reboot your computer, and that's what I'm going to do. So bear with me here. Um, I'll be back in a second after I reboot, and then we'll do a Windows update. Okay, you rebooted your computer. Uh, now let's go check and see how Windows update is working. Actually, we'll, we can do a few things. Number one, uh, let's go here to computer right click choose manage again okay and there's this is we're going to go down to service manage sorry the computer management uh, screen then we're going to go to services service and applications and services expand this out here and just to check our services make sure they're started there's a background intelligent transfer service it's started um, if it's not started Make sure you start it. Uh, let's look at the properties of it. 
there is a default property so uh, if it didn't start it should be set to automatic delayed start okay um, so there it is our mine started no problem this is after the reboot of course and uh, Windows update uh, it hasn't started yet because I haven't started the, the uh, program let's do a, go to action and do a refresh and there it's already started so if you go to action and do a refresh mine has started let's look at the properties on that again automatic delayed start okay so we'll minimize then we're gonna go to Windows updates so all programs and there's Windows update and as you can see mine has a red X in it um, not a real issue because I fixed it it just doesn't know that I fixed it yet so I'm gonna click on check for updates this will take a little bit I'll fast forward to the end okay so here we go it took about two or three minutes and as you can see um, my windows updated it now has the green check mark and everything seems to be working just fine um, if you want to see also if you want to just let's go check and see that uh, the files we deleted are back where I put them so back to windows button computer um, open C drive windows and down to software distribution there it is and you'll see all those files are back in there again okay so it repopulates that folder uh, with the proper folder with the proper folders and files so hopefully that helped you fix your Windows update not working issue it's one of the repairs I have about five please check the uh, description for our links to other fixes if this one didn't work for you. Thanks a lot for watching.